Is there nothing I can say? Is there nothing I can do? You're in too deep. You can't get out. Qigong to your emotional rescue. Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome to the See Your Wellbeing channel. I'm your energy wizard, inspiring and enabling you to sense, engage, and express more energy and joy in your life with Qigong and self-care practices. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Consider subscribing as these practices I have to offer you aren't meant to be kept to only a few hundred people. I want these practices to be shared across the world. And I know I have a very unique style at sharing them and I hope that you enjoy that. So what's on the agenda today? The stones, emotional rescue. The stones were masterful at expressing the rawness of our emotions. I wonder, I wonder if Mick knew about Qigong. But seriously, they had it right. You know, in order for us to manage our emotions, we first need to sense them, not deny them. Then we need to find a way to engage with that process of letting go and express on the other end these more elevated, natural, gifted emotions we have of love, joy, and happiness. And Qigong is a masterful art at helping us do that. Let's give it a try. All right. So first, let's begin. As I said, we want to be able to sense where these emotions are seeding. No, emotions are simply energy in motion. We first need to be aware of where they are before we can show them the door. So take a stance that's about shoulder width apart. Root into the earth. If you happen to be so fortunate with me outside, awesome. If not, I'm bringing the outside to you. So root the feet into the earth. Allow your heels to sink into the earth and your weight to shift back towards your heels. Close your eyes and sense and feel where your energy may be in motion. Notice if there's any blocks to the flow, the free flow of energy within you. Perhaps you feel some tightness in your chest, some constriction in your neck and shoulders, some tightness in your belly. Just be aware. And rather than questioning or getting frustrated at the root of those emotions, we're going to see how we can release them with some healthy engagement, encouraging, and then opening into these elevated emotions. Do one more check. Where do you feel some constriction to the movement of free-flowing energy? And now let's work to purge some of that, starting with the chest, which is this area of the body is said to be the emperor of emotions, the heart center, where a lot of emotions tend to get locked. So we're just gonna do some gentle knocking, light loose fists up and down the sternum. We're gonna work with some sounds as we purge our emotions. So starting with the sound of the heart, sounds help purge emotions, purge energy, and it is so deep inhale. Three times with each organ today. Yeah, and then gentle brush down on the sternum. Then we'll move to the lungs. So we're just gonna cross the arms so we can 
tap on the lung points right underneath the collarbones. Here we tend to hold emotions of sadness and grief. So here we're going to inhale through the nose and hissing out any gray cloudiness from the lungs. Inhale. One more. Separate the hands, bring them right over those lung points, and just do a little bit of a swirling inward. Swirling in the healing energy. And then we'll go to the liver on your right side. Right there. Because I want to purge with you too. We're going to tap down the side. Now, technically, you have two liver meridians, so we can do this simultaneously on both sides. And the negative emotions of the liver are stress and frustration. Any of that? And our sound here is Cover. Ooh, just feel what it feels like to let some of that go and how those sounds can be really beneficial. It creates a vibration in the system to cleanse and clear the negativity. Coming over to your spleen on your left side. Here I'd let a little tapping on the spleen. Kind of left, left towards back. Here our sound is Letting go of worry, cloudy thinking. Oh, a little hover. Finally, the kidney is tapping right below the ribs, lower back area. Letting go of fear and insecurity. Our sound here is A little hold. Brief. Feeling a, a releasing. I have a longer practice on the healing sounds. I encourage you to check that out. I'll link to it below. But let's work now with inviting in some healing energy and letting go at the same time. So I learned this practice from my teacher, John Platt. It's called double chi, like a little double cappuccino, which I don't know what that tastes like. <laughs> Anyways, the idea here is to open the heart focusing on really bringing in, inviting in the elevated emotions of the heart, which love, joy, and happiness. So I'll show you it first. The double comes from, we're gonna take two breaths in and lift and elevate the heart, firmly rooted into the earth, so it's. Then we're gonna bow forward, I'll show you first. Bow forward, letting the breath out through the mouth, and at the very end, you're gonna form like hoo 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 O oh, with your mouth and let it go. So watch me one time, it's gonna be slowly rolling up. So you notice when I let go, I had that extra ability just to bow forward even more and just let those emotions go down to the earth. So Invite in, let go. Let's do this three times today. Inhale. Slowly roll up. And again.
one more time. Slowly roll up. Close your eyes. Return back to that scanning of how energy is in motion within you right now. Perhaps where you felt some tightness now is a little bit more open. This practice is called a practice because it takes time. The more often you can engage with the process of letting go and welcome in the elevated emotions, the more that your natural joy, happiness, and love will vibrate. Let's finish with a very simple flow. It's called flying, and it looks just like it sounds. So we're gonna inhale and float the arms out to the side. Exhale, float the arms down. Make it a little bending of the knees and rolling of the spine. Inhale. So now we have an elevated perspective, an elevated feeling, a lightness. And so now perhaps you may come to the rescue for someone else. Continue to flow. Know that in order for you to be there authentically and effectively for others, you first need to come to your own emotional rescue. And do not be ashamed or embarrassed if you feel sad or anger, impatience. That's what the heart kind of, impatience and haste is the heart negativity. Didn't mention that earlier. But to know that, that that emotion is alerting you that something is off, and it's an invitation to let go, to transform and to fly. So flow through the air with ease peace, feeling the lightness, ah. and allow those arms now to float all the way up overhead, bringing the palms together down to the heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing the hands down right in front of the heart center. Pinky fingers and thumbs touch. Gaze down at this lotus budding from your heart. Thank you. Thank you for your time, for yourself, for giving yourself this practice. If you enjoyed it, please share and consider subscribing so that you can enjoy this transformational, this masterful art every day. And if you're curious, or I'm curious to know, what classic rock songs would make for good Qigong practices? Comment below and share. I've got a fun personality and I like to engage people in ways that, you know, just are a little bit kind of off the beaten path. So if you want to play a game with me, comment below. Classic rock song. Have a wonderful day. Be well.